Tonight, a young woman from Manchester by the Sea is waging her own battle with the NCAA. Yeah, in the fall, the NCAA stripped dozens of wins and a division title from the UMass Amherst tennis team over what some believe was a very minor violation. As I started to read the headlines, I had realized that my best friend and I were in the middle of this NCAA investigation that we had no idea um, was going on. Former UMass tennis player Brittany Collins knows what's going on now, and she's fighting against it. The NCAA vacated her team's Atlantic 10 championship title because of an infractions violation by the school. They came across this error that they had accidentally paid us a stipend that was only meant for on-campus students. And my junior year, 2015-16, we had moved off campus. UMass discovered the violation and reported it to the NCAA. That sometimes leads to a lighter punishment. Not this time. The NCAA wiped out all of the wins for Collins' three seasons at UMass. So as far as the NCAA records are concerned, they won't exist. They're gone. She started a petition to restore these records for herself and her former teammates. We've heard stories of schools paying players, but what Collins received isn't quite anything like that. How much money did this amount to? $252 uh, between two people, myself and my uh, roommate and best friend, $126 each. Now, Collins believes this small incident involving her could have a big impact on rules violations across the country. It was supposed to be an incentive to self-report. Clearly, they didn't hold up what their agreement was on their end. So I think this does backfires for them. And now schools won't self-report because this was the most minor offense with the harshest penalty dealt. Hmm. So we reached out to the NCAA to see if it has reviewed the petition and plans to review the sanctions. We have not heard back. And so far, the petition has more than 7,300 signatures. And we have a link on our website, cbsboston.com.